Hello everyone, welcome back to Techno Engineers. Today I'm going to show you a very special project, a Twia Reminder built using the Twia T5 AI board. Let's just start by unboxing it. In the first box, we get the main Twia T5 AI board. It uses the T5E1 IPX module and ARM V8 M Star core running at 480 MHz with 16 KB ITCM, 16 KB DTCMs, 8 MB SIP flash, 16 MB SIP PS RAM, and 640 KB shared SRAM. In the second box, we got a beautiful 3.5 inch TFT TOS display and one speaker. Now let's assemble the T5 board with the display. After connecting everything, you can see the preloaded UI running on the screen. It already has some demo pages and basic display features which confirms that our hardware is working perfectly. First, I upload the original firmware from Twia official GitHub repository. There you can find all the documentation, libraries, and flashing guides. If you want to build something with the Twia board, make sure to check their GitHub. After that, I uploaded the chatbot firmware to the board. It works really well and behaves like a small assistant. What's up, Twia? Just hanging out and ready to help you with anything you need. What's up with you? I'm good here. Here. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to chat about or need help with. Then I started modifying the code to turn it into my Twia Reminder UI. My first version didn't look very good, it had many problems, emojis were not supported, some symbols were broken, and the UI didn't look clean or beautiful. So I decided to redesign the UI. I tried another version but that one also didn't look good enough. The colors and layout were still not nice. Then again, I also changed the few lines of code and re-upload the code. And this time, it looks much better than previous, but not that so much good that I expected. The colors and other functions, systems and settings are not as I expected. So finally, I decided to rewrite the UI using LVGL. This time it looks much better. I added cozy color combinations, improved layouts and made the whole interface more beautiful and pleasant to use. At this time, I also needed to add brightness control and a control panel. I didn't know at the first whether the hardware supported brightness control, so I asked the Twia Discord team. They helped me a lot and explained everything clearly. Thanks to the Twia Discord community, I successfully implemented brightness control in my device. Thank you so much to the Twia Discord team. They are really helpful. After that, I uploaded the final upgraded firmware. And now the device looks really clean, beautiful and professional. Now the software part is done. So I started designing the housing. I used white acrylic because it's easy to cut and save. I measured the board, cut the acrylic and assembled everything using super glue.
First, I plan to use two 18650 batteries, but the device becomes too big and not compact. So I change the plan and use flat lithium battery. Now the device becomes small, compact and handy. For the charging, I use an 18650 charging module. For a stable 5 volts, I use a boost converter, and for power control, I add a small slicer. Now let's assemble all the components. After wiring everything, I connect the power to the T5 board P11 pins. You can find this pin out in TOS official GitHub. Now let's power it on. Let's turn on successfully. Then I connect the speaker and also make a smaller speaker box so the sound becomes better. After I drill holes for the speaker grill and the microphone on the front panel. Then I close the case. Now the device is complete. Now the device is complete, let's turn it on. It says welcome and shows the network connectivity status. Welcome to Tune My Reminder, network is connected. And let's open the weather section. Here you can see real time weather of your location. It shows temperature, humidity, and feels like temperature 
it automatically updates every 20 minutes. You can also press it manually. Now let's go to the tasks section. Here you can add your own tasks. You can edit them by double tapping. You can also delete unwanted tasks. I also added some motivation quotes at the bottom. You can shuffle the quotes using the bottom. Now let's go to the reminder section. Here you can add reminders with the date and time. You can edit reminders, you can delete reminders, and when the time arrives, the device will expect the reminder. And let's go to the phone section. Here I added some educational games like memory math, number, puzzle, color sequence, and quick math. These games are fun and at the same time they help improve your brain. Now the last section is settings. Here you can control brightness using a slider. There is also an auto brightness option using slip timer logic. You can control volume. You can set time and date. You can see system information like firmware and memory uses. And there is also factory reset option. Currently this whole system runs only 3 MB RAM of 4 MB. That's it. This project was really joyful to make from rough idea to a real working product. The 285 development board is really powerful. You can build almost anything with it. The device and firmware still have a lot of room for improvement. So if you have any good ideas or features that should be added, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Love you all.